For this lesson, let's get our Minky Minky out and test it with a couple of different piano apps. I'm going to take you to the lesson and look at the different piano apps we can use. You can use anything that works with a key press. So one of my favorites is, of course, the piano that we have on our webpage, makeyminky.com slash piano. This one works by pressing a key press. So if I press the left arrow or the up arrow, you can see that I'm controlling this keyboard with my fingers on the keyboard. But I can do the same thing with Makey Makey. So I've connected it to our drawings. I'm going to test it. So I'm doing the same thing, left, down, up, right, except now my drawing is doing it. One thing to note is that your drawing really does need to be thick and dark marks. Here's a really light lead just to see if the skinny line will work. Nope. No sound. Let's try it again. Let's see if we can thicken it up. Maybe that will help. I'm testing it on different pieces of the drawing to see which thick line will still make a key press and which line is too thin. Some of it's way too thin. So make sure when you make your drawing that you make your marks really thick. I'm going to try another music now. This is the MK1 sampler by Eric Rosenbaum. He co-created the Makey Makey. It's really fun. It also works on a key press, left, down, up, right. And you can actually use the back of your board and do WASDFG. We'll get more on that later. But for now, just see how fun this keyboard is. You can change the samples. You can even record your own sounds. I love it. It's really one of the most fun. The MakeyMakey.com piano is actually coded in JavaScript, but it's inspired by this Scratch project. Eric and Jay remixed Someone 10's Scratch piano so that it would work on a key press, and it would work with Makey Makey. So if you press left, up, down, right, or the drawing, then I'm playing the keys of the Scratch project piano. And we're going to learn more about Scratch in the next lesson, but I just wanted to give you a little glimpse into what it looks like. It's pretty cool. Now, the next one that you can try that I really love is this chamber music piano. And it plays different keys, but it sounds so beautiful. And if you can hook up the back of your Makey Makey, you'll have a really classy piano. Okay, I can't stop myself. I'm going to show you how to make a piano really quick. You use the extension and open the Makey Makey extension, and you'll also want to add the music extension from scratch. And then all you have to do is pull the when key pressed hat, and then you pull a play note. Now I'm going to change this so that it's an up arrow, and I'm going to show you on my drawing that by pressing my drawing, I'm now controlling scratch. And it's not doing anything on these other ones. My Makey Makey's obviously working, but I have to code it. I have to tell it what to do. So I'm going to duplicate this, and I'm going to change this to down arrow, and then when I click inside play note, it, scratch pulls up a piano. How cool is that? I can duplicate, and then I can change the key, and I can change the note to the E note just by duplicating and doing a quick little changes. And now I have a four button piano. I can play it with my drawing. Oh, but I messed up and left arrows playing two different notes. Let me fix that real quick. Now you're ready to pick a piano and draw your drawing and hook them together and play until your heart is happy. When you're ready, you can move on to the next lesson.